Hi everyone, Alyssa here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I am so glad to have you here today. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my office. I do feel very fancy having an office. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I did not even have the thought in my mind that I would use this room as an office whenever we first moved into the house. Honestly, it was such a whirlwind whenever we decided to sell our other house and move that I really didn't even have a chance to think of what I was going to do with the rooms in this house. All we knew is that this house had a basement and it was gonna be a great space for my husband's office so that he could work in the house and we could live in the house and we wouldn't bother each other because it just was not working in our other house as much as we loved it, as much as we loved that house, it was so cute. Um, it was so homey and bright and we really just loved it. The whole work situation with him working at home just wasn't working. Luckily, we got moved into this house right before quarantine happened and all that jazz. And then we just, we started to settle in and I got to really start dreaming of what this house could be. So whenever we first moved into this house, this room that's now my office was first my son's nursery. And it's right off the side of our master bedroom, which sounds really convenient, but it was actually really annoying because my son is, is a really loud sleeper and we could hear everything. It was just too loud for us to be able to hear him all the time, like even just like the grunts and noises he makes while he sleeps. And also we couldn't like blast the TV. So we ended up moving him to our closet and it's been perfect. And then I had this room to do what I wanted to with it. And it has been so great to have for editing videos, to have my computer set up and to really just have like a hub in a, a room of my own. And it's really been the first time in our marriage that I've had a space of my own. And it's really cool to have that again. I have like my own room. So this is my office and I'm gonna give you a tour. Let's go. Okay, so you walk into my office through the doorway here. And as you can see, the flooring is tile, which is very uncommon for a house in this region. But we do have tile floor upstairs, and unfortunately it's not in the best condition, but that's okay. We have a rug. This rug isn't what I would call my style, but it was free from a rug company who donated their display rugs to our church. And now that we have this house, I wish we had been greedy and snagged more of them. <laughs> it works. Next, you'll see the little sitting area. My sister moved back into my parents' house, and so this cozy folding chair needed a new home. I am happy to make use of it. Then we have the little gold table I bought at Home Goods, I think, years ago, which is holding my Bible and my coffee. I love this mug a friend gave to me that says, Strong as a mother. I use it often because it makes me feel awesome. Up here, I have this world map. I really have a thing for travel. I love maps and globes, so this is fun to have. And this cubby here is a tripod. But the plan is to build shelves into this sort of cubby space, and I am really excited about that. My dad said he'd help me build some cedar shelves, so I think that would be cool. Then over here, you will see this painting. My grandmother gave this to me. She moved to a retirement village in Florida, and so she didn't need a lot of the decor that she had. And she also accrued a good many items from whenever my granny passed. And uh, before my granny passed, she lived with my grandma. And so I'm not sure if this was originally my granny's or my grandma's. I need to ask her, but I think it's a pretty painting and I just really like having it in here. It's like getting a hug from my grandma <laughs> and I just always think of her whenever I see it on the wall. This is my desk. I really like this desk. It's very solid. I have no idea what kind of wood it is. I'm sure you could tell me, but it has this cool little sliding piece out that I can put my mouse on my mouse pad. It holds my notebook and my computer. It's like deep enough to where I can put things, multiple things on it and a lamp and things aren't like falling off. It's a really good size. 
It belonged to my husband's great-grandmother so-and-so or great-aunt somebody. I'm not really sure. But whatever, whoever it belonged to, I appreciate it. Thanks. So on the wall over here, you see I have some cards put on the wall. These are cards that were sent to me on my birthday. And usually I just throw the cards away, honestly. But these were actually like really heartfelt cards. And so I just decided to decorate my room a little bit with these and put them on the wall. Over here you'll see this old senior sewing table that I bought off of Craigslist a few years ago. Actually, wow, it was before I was married. It's more than a few years ago. <laughs> Never mind. Anyways, I think it's really cool and I like to put my sewing machine on top of it. I have a more modern singer sewing machine that's on top of it. And I don't do a whole lot of sewing, but I do like to have it out whenever it is necessary, whenever I need it. I have um, some things that I just need to hem and just fix up a little bit and it's just nice to have it handy instead of like packed away and then having to get it out all the time so it really feels like a luxury to have this sewing table here and have my sewing machine out all the time I I don't know what I'm gonna do above it yet I was thinking maybe like a photo collage maybe shelves I'm not really sure but either way I'm happy to have my sewing machine out on a table in my office Here you'll see pretty much this whole wall is just window. It is a sliding glass window out to a little porch and it is just adorable. It is so cute. I have plans to maybe put down an outdoor rug out here and maybe some hanging like hammock chairs that I saw on Etsy. I thought that would be really cute for my daughter and I to be sitting out there and reading together this fall. I don't know if I'll get around to that project you know, in the near future, but definitely down the road and hopefully sooner than later, I'll fix this up outside so we can really start to enjoy it. Either way, I really like to enjoy these windows and open up these curtains and let the light in and spy on my neighbors across the street. <laughs> Love you, Christina. As you can see, I really love my office. I'm really a big fan of it. I think it's come together really nicely, especially since I'm just using things that I already have. I haven't purchased anything new for this project. I just kind of put it together and use what I have on hand. And I really like the feel of it. It feels official, but also cozy and warm. And this house has a lot of space, so I like that I have this kind of tiny room to call my own. Um, if you enjoyed this tour, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And I hope that you stick around to see more tours and lots of other things that I will be doing on this channel. As always, remember to live honestly and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you for watching.